I need your help with Fisher and Pagel refrigerator problems. They are louder than average, until they stop running. What I like is that the Fisher and Pagel refrigerator is available in smaller sizes like 32 inch wide models. Yes, it is a European model where they have little appliances to fit in tiny houses and apartments. That makes the noise problem even worse, since it is designed for people who live in smaller spaces. Fortunately, my kitchen is on the other side of the house. The freezer stays cold, but it sometimes gets too cold. It is hard to imagine frozen food being too frozen, though thawing is a problem. The fan that pushes the cold air from the freezer to the fridge sometimes fails and other times fails to work because the space it pushes air through freezes over. I have had problems with temperature control. The Fisher and Pickle refrigerator has problems with the compressor kicking in at random and loudly at that, and it doesn't always start on. If the compressor is not on as often as it needs to be, the fridge won't stay cold. Another problem is the humidity control. I did not know it had humidity control, since the humidity is out of control. They tend to use weak humidity control strips instead of durable sensors. So assuming the humidity control piece didn't break off or get thrown out as a random piece of plastic, it is mediocre at best. They might as well design it to eliminate the humidity, since too much guarantees a mold while too little hardly makes a difference. A solution for you could be periodically airing it out. While destroying the energy efficiency that was a point in favor of the model, and creating a lot of work in the process. So at baking soda or desiccant packs, they have problems with the ice makers by design too. I do not think they intentionally made the ice makers to fail, though any ice maker will reduce the reliability of a fridge per consumer reports reliability ratings. Their ice makers have major problems, worse than average. Then old-fashioned ice cube trays in the freezer is a solution. Until the ice maker leaks water into the freezer and turns it into a frozen movie scene or leaks into the fridge and turns the humidity problem into a flood. That's a common problem for refrigerators based on how many people say it ruined their floor. Whether or not it is an excuse for not mopping the floor I do not know, 